In this lesson, we're going to look at converting back from decimal times back to minutes. This would happen in a, a time calculation where the answer came out. You did a time equals distance over speed calculation, and the answer came out to be something like 3.6 hours. And you're like, oh, what is 3.6 hours? Oh, I'm not sure. Because you don't really see that as a time. You want to convert it into three hours in so many minutes. So let's have a look at the screen and think about this. Again, go back to our basics. Think about what could you do to get from 0 0.5 to 30 minutes? Well, it must be something to do with 60. Because it's, again, 60 minutes in an hour. So half half of 60, half times 60. Now let's check that out in the calculator. 0 0.5 times 60. Yeah, that's working. Okay, so test it out with this, 0 0.25 times 60. We know that's 15 minutes. We did it before. Is 0 0.25 times 60 15 minutes? Yes, it is. So it's times in by 60. It's the opposite this time. You're kind of going back to where you started. So we're doing opposite divide by 60, which is times in by 60. And we'll just make sure that last one works. 0 0.75 times by 60. Yes, this is working every time. Now, what that means is we can use it in more kind of difficult calculations. If we're saying, well, what is 0 0.7 hours? All right, okay, well, you just times it by 60, 0 0.7 times 60, 42 minutes. Great. So, again, you can do that every time here, 0 0.3 times 60, 0 0.3 times 60, 18 minutes. And the last one, 0 0.9 times 60, and that's giving you 54. Now, some of you might notice here that really what's happening, to do 0 0.7 times 60, it's kind of like 7 times 6, isn't it? So your times table is 42, because that's like 7 divided by 10, and that's like 6 times 10, so they kind of cancel each other out. So it's just 7 times 6, 3 times 6, and 9 times 6, which is quite nice. Okay, right, let's try this one. 3.25 hours into hours and minutes. So it's three hours in so many minutes. So 0 0.25 times 60, that's 15 minutes. So this is really three hours and 15 minutes. If that came out at the end of an answer and a time question, make sure you change it into hours and minutes. And the last one here, 4.65 hours. Well, deal with the 0.65 times it by 60. You get 39 minutes. So that's four hours and 39 minutes. Right, we can now use this technique in um, time calculation. So we'll have a look at a few to, uh, before you try some yourself. So calculate the time a car takes to travel 18 kilometers at 40 kilometers per hour. So if you cover up the T, we've got D over S. So that's your kind of thing there. Time is equal to the distance over speed, your formula. The distance was 18, make sure you put the right way around. Distance is 18 and the speed is 40. So it's 18 divided by 40. Just use your calculator for this. So that's going to pop out at 0 0.45 hours. Right, so I need to times that by 60 to get my answer in minutes. I'm not just going to leave it at 0 0.45 hours. Answer is 27 minutes. Okay, last question. Calculate the time Mr. Johnson takes to travel 17 kilometres at five kilometers per hour. I was inspired by this, he hurt his leg quite a few years ago. He wasn't walking very fast. This is where this question came from. Right, same idea, time equals distance over speed. Cover up the time. So distance, 17 kilometers, um, speed is five kilometers per hour. So we've got 17 divided by five. Now that's popping out to be 3.4 hours. So that's three hours in, in a bit, basically. But we need to work out this 0.4 part. So 0.4 times 60 is 24 minutes. Right, I know my answer now. Three hours and 24 minutes. So remember to set your working out neatly and tidily. And always remember, if you get a decimal answer in your time, you must change it to hours and minutes.